In today's video, a fish almost jumps out of the aquarium and I freak out about something. Hello everyone, this is Paul the Inventory King. Hope you guys are all having a great day and enjoying your fish. If this is your guys' first time to my channel, I would love if you could hit the subscribe button and if you guys could hit the notification bell and uh, you'll get notifications when I release a new video. So if you guys could do that, that would be awesome. So today we're gonna talk about catching fish. There we go. Caught them just like that. The best way to catch a fish without stress. Yeah, catching our fish in aquariums could be a challenging, challenging thing. All about slow, ah. I don't know about you guys, but there are times I am frustrated and I am ready to just lose my mind because these fish are just evasive and you can't catch them. It, it's, it's a pain. I mean, you're trying for five minutes, 10 minutes, the fish is so stressed out by the time you can even catch it. I finally found a way that allows me to catch these fish easier, stress-free, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So ask yourself, when you're trying to catch a fish in your aquarium like the one down over here, yep, a tank like this, do you ever have issues? Issues where you just can't catch the fish. So we're gonna go ahead and pick a fish to try to catch in here. So this is 120, 125 gallon aquarium, six feet long. Let's, let's try to catch uh, this Borley eye right here. So this is the fish that is gonna be in the video today as an example. It is gonna be this Borley eye. Let's, let's try to catch him. And he almost just ended up outside of the tank. So we know there's ways to do this. You try to corner them, obviously. Okay, all about slow. Ah. As you can see, this is not easy. It's a, it's a pretty frustrating part of the hobby to try to catch fish. I mean, they are stealthy and he's down here. As you can see, there's got to be a better way to catch fish. And I do have two ways to help make this a lot easier. This is one of the ways. Do a water change, lower that water down, because when you lower the water down, your fish have less room to evade you. So let's go ahead and show you an example of how much easier it is to catch a fish with the water lower. We're gonna try for that Borley eye again. I'm gonna get him to come over to this side of the tank so you guys can see exactly what I mean. Okay, we could already tell I have an advantage here because I've been able to stop him so far from going past where last time you could see that that was not going to happen. So as you can see, I'm just cornering him constantly so that I can try to figure out the advantage. Ooh, like that time he got past me. Try it again. Finally. There it is. Beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. So as you can see, it was still tough to catch the fish even when the water was lowered. Still hard to catch this fish even with the water lowered halfway. If you go down to about here, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. But here's the thing, sometimes when you need to remove a fish, who has time to just do a 50 to 75% water change to make it easier for you and less stress for the fish? Oh, I got away. So, so far, what we have done is we have tried to catch the fish when the tank is full of water, and we've also tried to catch the fish when the tank is halfway full of water. So we're gonna go with the lights out now. So what we need to do is we need to leave the fish room. We need to come on over here. We need to go ahead and turn
turn the light out on the tank and we also need to turn the light out okay so now that we got the lights turned out in the fish room we're going to go out give it about half hour 40 minutes uh, you want to give them some time to really get into that sleep so let's go ahead and wait for them to sleep okay so now that the fish have been in the dark for a while we're going to go back into the fish room and we're going to catch that borley eye and you're going to see how fast it is all right we're here in the fish room now i'm going to go ahead and flip on the light and we're going to come on over here and catch that borley eye as you know we just turned the lights on the borley eyes in the corner so let's go ahead and just take a look at how we can catch this guy very easily there we go caught him just like that. Just like that. Because the lights were out and they were sleeping. So, don't be frustrated catching your fish anymore. It's a, it's a frustrating thing. Lights out is the solution. There you have it, guys and gals. Turn the lights out. If you're going to turn the lights out when you're trying to catch your fish, it's gonna make your life easier. I'm telling you, try to catch them when it's, a, when it's dark. Because again, if you're gonna go and try to catch these fish in the daytime, it's pointless, it's not gonna work. You wanna do this when it's dark outside so that it'll be dark in the room, therefore the fish go into their sleep mode, and then it's easy to catch them. Wanted to share that with you guys, I hope it was helpful. If you guys could comment down below, how do you catch your fish? Do you do this method? Uh, what do you think about this method? Is this, is this the first time you've ever heard of it? Would love to know in those comments down below. If you could also hit the thumbs up and subscribe and click the bell notification and you will be uh, ready and aware when my next video comes out. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, everybody. I truly appreciate everybody. Thank you and stay tanked.